when it was obvious they were going to your legs? What, uh, what was that like? Yeah, um, you know, they kind of told me down the stretch, you know, be ready to run the ball. Um, I know our guys been, been, been running hard um, all day, so I know they, their legs are extremely tired. I had fresh legs. Um, they went to me. I made a play. I had to call it back, but, but you know, it's still it's still wonderful just to, um, you know, have that that um, comfortability in me and their trust in me. So you went to said in a lot of key moments. Is it just, just a comfort level there? It's just connection. Right? I mean, I have connections. I have great connection with all my receivers. I really just uh, kind of saw his matchup and uh, kind of had a little smaller guy um, on him, so I kind of just made his way. You talk about them calling the run back, the touchdown run there at the end. How do you reset mentally from that, knowing you got to go right back to it, or is it just pretty natural? Yeah, um, you know, it happens. Um, I know a lot of times uh, during uh, fall camp, we would have too many situations and something would go wrong in the offensive side of the ball, and it'd be called back, and we'd have to do it over again. So, you know, it's the same thing. We prepare for this moment. And I would finish strong. How would you assess the offense's performance as a whole tonight? I give it a C. You know, we came out. Um, I missed some, some throws at the beginning of the game. Um, you know, we missed some, we missed some, some catches, uh, missed some blocks. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we kept pushing, kept taking that step forward, and uh, that's all we can we can hope for. The, the lack of rhythm, if you want to call it that, any particular reason that you can pinpoint? Kind of looking back on the. No, night. no, you know, just you know, just coming out to a slow start. You know, it happens. Um, the biggest thing is just overcoming that, that challenge and getting to our rhythm and get going. So you had J Javante and, and Bayless and Seb were kind of your three go-to guys. Do you think it's it's Seb and, and, and Jalen and Brew? I mean, it looks like it's shaped up that way today. Yeah, whoever's out there, you know, I'm going to get them the ball when they're open. Uh, that's my job to get the, the playmakers the ball uh, in space and let them do what they do. So, um, you know, whoever's out there with me, I'm going to get them the ball. And then what do you think this says about just the team and the growth? I know Josh was talking about that a lot after the game. Like maybe a year ago, you guys don't. Yeah, definitely maturity. Um, you know, we've matured and we learned from our mistakes in the past, and um, you know that's all we can do. Uh, learn from mistakes, move forward, and, and increase our play in a positive direction. What can you say about the defense tonight? They were really locked down from you know second through overtime period. Yeah, you know, defense played their tails off today, um, as they do every day. You know, they, they bring that they bring that enthusiasm and that energy day in and day out during practice, um, and they push us to get better. And we push them to get better. I remember uh, during camp, you know. We were preaching, like, let's make each other better, let's compete. So uh, moments like this, we finish. What did you think about Trey Flowers mm -hmm. muffing the punt and then yeah. having the big sack there in overtime? Yeah, you know, Trey's a vet guy. Uh, he's a next play uh, mentality type of guy. All right, now, now, uh, you know, he, he, he worked extremely hard. Um, I see him a lot of times you know, out there catching punts. All right, now. I see him out there catching punts and, um, you know, doing extra work so that, um, you know, he can he can uh, transfer it over to game time situations. So, um, you know, hats off to Trey for, for making up, you know, for the muff punt. But, uh, you know, I, I never doubted him one bit. Did, Did you say anything to him? No, you don't have to say nothing to, to real ballers. You know, they know, they know what to do. Just character? Is that all that is? Yeah, um, perseverance. Uh, he's, he's a strong-minded guy. And, um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of guys on our team that are strong-minded and that can persevere through tough times. So I've called it about the TD, but on the, mm -hmm. at, at that point, you guys are kind of it's the route's over. He's kind of trying to just drift back a little bit inside, right? Yeah, it really. Yeah. Uh, he ran. He ran the post, um, and I kind of saw the guy kind of trailing him. Uh, I was trying to buy some time, so I was moving up in the pocket, kind of turned into a little sprint forward. Um, but yeah, just giving my guy a chance. I have I have uh, full trust in all my receivers, and um, you know I was telling him that all night, like guys, I got trust in y'all. I'm gonna put the ball in the air. Y'all gonna make a play. So, um, you know, Say does what he does, and he's aggressive, and he snatched the ball out the air. Hypo called it a program win. What, what about the program mm -hmm. allows the program to, to go out there and get yeah. a win when maybe the ball's not always bouncing y'all's way? Yeah, like I said before, you know, it's maturity. Uh, learning from our lessons before. Um, we, we talked about this uh, situation. We, we uh, established that it was going to be, you know, a 60-minute game. It was going to be a 12-round prize fight. So, um, you know, uh, we just came out and, and executed how we wanted to on the back end. Um, and that's the most important thing, how we finish. When the game finished up there, Coach Narduzzi was asking everyone where you were on the field. Can you mm -hmm. share what he told you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> really, you know, he just told me that he was, he was proud of me um, and my growth uh, on the field and uh, my maturity as well. Just kind of the way the last overtime game ended, just to walk off the field with the goalish and Heifel there, I guess, what was that moment like? Too? Yeah, it's special. Um, you know, we work our tails off every day uh, in the office for, for countless hours, uh, watching film for oh. countless hours. All right now. Um, you know, watching film for countless hours, uh, on the field, having different corrections, last minute corrections. Um, you know, you, you never know uh, when, when you're needed or when that is needed. And uh, tonight it was needed.
How good is that front seven you, you, you saw tonight? Yeah, you know, they're really good. It's a veteran group. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen them for a long time now. So, um, you know, those guys play with a lot of enthusiasm. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of jokes in the field uh, and a lot of uh, high competitive uh, nature. And um, that's what you want. You know, you want to play. Defensively, uh, great in the second half. Just what, what was sort of the, did you guys feel like you had to go in the game? Oh yeah, defense. oh yeah. You playing the second half? Yeah. yeah. Um, just Coach Banks told us that you know the first half, everything they got, we gave it to him. So he just told us we got to buckle down, slow down, be patient, and play our keys right. I think you guys like, threw up a stat on the broadcast at like 25 pressures on the quarterback at least. Yeah. Didn't feel like you guys were hitting whoever they had back there the whole game. Uh, it did, it did. We already know coming into the game, he was going to hold the ball um, extra long. So we already told us, you know, every rush we got to keep going. Even if it felt like we might don't be there, we got to keep rushing. So we already knew that, you know, we were getting pressure. So. I feel like the pass rush got better as so the game went on, got stronger. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, we got more momentum <coughs> and stuff like that. Um, you know, they put the backup quarterback in, you know, so we just went harder. We just knew he was a backup. So, you know, just had the pressure on a little bit more, make him nervous. What does it say about the night Trayvon Flowers had? He had some things go against him, a fumbled punt. You know, the guy hurdled him for the touchdown, but he had the interception, the huge sack at the end. What what, what does it say about him to have such an up and down, but coming out strong at the end? No, uh, that just shows the type of guy he is. Like, when that happened with the uh, fumble, I told him, lock in, we good. Like, I told him, we right behind him, it don't matter. Like, either way, you know, win, lose, or draw, I'm always be behind him. So when that happened, at that moment, I told him, bro, Lock in, let's make a play, make it happen. That's what you did with that sack. And I told him, I said, look, look what you did. You put that pa you put that to the pass and you know you did what you did. So yeah. What's it like for a defense when you have an overtime situation and your offense scores first and you can go out there and win the game right then? You said what type of like what what's it feel like as a defense when it's overtime, offense scores first and you guys can go out there and shut the game down? It felt great, you know, because our offense, you know, they had our back the whole game and stuff like that. So just us returning the favor, it felt great, you know what I'm saying? You know, us as a defense playing together, I love it. Byron, do you think you could have won this game?